Hey guys, John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for my weekly video blog. You know, a lot of you know that I've been working really hard in trying to get Someone Like Me, my book, turned into a movie. And I still hope to, to make that happen one day. All I need is somebody to buy the entertainment rights and I think we'll be off and running. But that got me thinking. What movies are your favorites that feature uh, people with disabilities or disability themed movies, if you will. Um, I, really not so much disability themed movies, or maybe have a character with a disability in them. What are, what are your favorites? Now, I know that everybody with cerebral palsy, the first thing they're gonna say is my left foot, because that's what everybody always says. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis did a great job, and uh, it's, a, it's a great movie. But I, I'm not even going to mention that movie because I think it's so obvious. Uh, but I, I've got five here that I that I like, uh, that I watch from time to time. That uh, whenever I'm channel surfing and I see that they're on, I'll uh, I'll stop and watch them. So I know you've got your own list, but here are mine. Now number five, I've got uh, the Elephant Man. If you haven't seen the Elephant Man, it's a great movie. Uh, I think it was released back in 1980 or so. And it tells the story of John Merrick and uh, all the struggles that he went through in his life. And it's really well done. So The Elephant Man at number five. Number four, I guess uh, A Beautiful Mind, uh, starring Russell Crowe. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was very well done. It talks about uh, a gentleman's struggle with uh, schizophrenia and, and everything that he went through in his life. So... Uh, a Beautiful Mind is at number four on my list. Number three, I guess, would be Scent of a Woman, which is really a great movie. If you haven't seen Scent of a Woman, and Al Pacino, who plays a uh, army lieutenant colonel who was blinded by an accident and is trying to... Uh, Put his life back together with the help of uh, with a young man who, who enters his life, and uh, it's really it's really well done. I love the final scenes in this movie in uh, in the school schoolhouse. If you haven't seen Scent of a Woman, highly recommend it. It's really good. Uh, number two, uh, it's called The Best Years of Our Lives. Now this is a really good movie. It's an older movie. Uh, came out, I think, in 1946, and it talks about uh, the story of uh, three or four veterans coming back from World War II and the adjustment that these gentlemen had to make back into civilian life. Uh, it's really, really well done and uh, highly recommend it. It's called uh, The Best Years of Our Lives at number two. And number one, for, for me personally, this is a movie that doesn't get talked about a, a lot, but it's a really, it's a really cool movie. It's called Inside Moves. It stars uh, John Savage, I believe, and it and it tells the story of uh, his character, who uh, tries to commit suicide and and, and fails, but in, in the attempt becomes paralyzed, and, and Inside Moves tells the stories tells the story of. This gentleman picking up the pieces of, of his life and uh, with the help of the neighborhood. And uh, it's a really, really a great movie. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's called Inside Moves. So those are, those are my top five picks. I know that you guys have your own. Um, I just saw a great movie that was sent to me actually uh, uh, this past week. It's called The Music Within. And it talks about... Uh, Two gentlemen who uh, had to fight the fight that uh, of disability rights that finally turned into uh, the passage of the ADA, the Americans with Disability Act. It's a really, really good movie. It's called The Music Within. If you get a chance, I highly recommend that too. That's a bonus pick, if you will, this week. But uh, anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think about my list. Uh, add, add some list uh, of your own. Give me your top five and uh, put them down below. Thanks for all the, thanks for all the subscribe, uh, subscribers this week. It's been 
been wonderful. Uh, you guys are doing a great job with all your video blogs and everything going on. I love I love uh, watching them. Love hearing from you guys. And uh, I had a couple cool things happen this week. My book sold out on Amazon, which is amazing. I love it. You know, uh, my little book, it's been out for over three years now, selling out on Amazon. What a wonderful feeling that is. Um, and, uh, yeah, so thank you for all the support. And... Uh, Let's do it again real soon. All right. Take care, guys, and uh, have a great week. All right. Bye-bye.